Hi, I'm Steve Smith, AICHE's Director of Publications. Uh, today at AICHE's annual meeting in San Francisco, we've caught up with Costas Moranis for what we hope will be the first in a series of connected Meet the Authors interviews. Costas is the Donald Broughton Professor of Chemical Engineering at Penn State and was also a past winner of the Alan Colburn Award for Excellence in Publications by a young member of the Institute. Costas is the co-author with Ali Zamorati of the new book, Optimization Methods in Metabolic Networks. The book explores how uh, mathematical tools can be used to analyze and solve issues in, the, in product yield, identification of gaps, resolution of issues, and gene essentiality prediction. It's written for an advanced student uh, as an introduction to the topic, but it might also be of interest to uh, practicing engineers who want to find out more about it. So, Costas, uh, I wondered if you could tell us a little bit about what in your experience uh, as an uh, educator and researcher demonstrated the need for, for this new book. Well, this is a topic that I taught over many years in my university and I struggled to find an appropriate textbook to use. Uh, uh, so after a few years, I condensed all the collective wisdom uh, from all my lectures into the book with, my, with the help of my former student, Alizo Morodi. Uh, so the hope was that this book will help as a, will function as a bridge uh, to bring together the people that perform metabolic engineering uh, with the community that perform the computational analysis that are becoming so imperative these days when we try to analyze those complex systems. Yeah, I mean, metabolic engineering and just the influence of biology on chemical engineering is, you know, ever increasing, it seems. So what in the book would help a student really get sort of practical, hands-on uh, experience in metabolic engineering? Well, I hope that the book will demystify metabolism for the chemical engineering community. It will help them understand that it is nothing but a complex and very large network of reactions. And what the book is trying to do is apply the same tools that we have developed as chemical engineers to analyze and design chemical plants uh, to, the, to the ultimate chemical factors which are living cells. So what are some of the products or processes uh, in, in metabolic networks and metabolic engineering that the non-specialized engineer or a uh, non-technical person might be aware of? What are the real-world applications we're seeing? Well, there is an increasing list of products that now are being uh, shifted from a chemical factory to a, to a bio factory. Mm -hmm. uh, so beyond the obvious ones, like, such as bioethanol and other biofuel uh, molecules, uh, people are making uh, billions of tons of amino acids uh, as animals in biological systems, vitamins, nutraceuticals, uh, polymer precursors, even polymers themselves. Uh, so there is a vibrant uh, community these days that uh, attempts to uh, convert a lot of those processes from the you know, traditional chemical processes into renewable uh, biological uh, industries. So it's an important development. That's the hope, yeah. <laughs> so uh, are there any people you'd like to acknowledge in the preparation of the book? Or well, I, I think I, uh, I have to acknowledge my late advisor, Chris Lidlis of Lewis, who uh, taught me and introduced me to the art of optimization. And uh, a lot of the wisdom and techniques that I highlight in the book are, are things and techniques and ways of thinking that I, I learned from him over the years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything, everyone was pretty shocked and saddened yes. by his uh, untimely demise. Uh, okay, uh, I guess it's time to let the viewers know that if they would like to buy the book, it's available from uh, John Wiley & Sons, which is AICHE's publications partner, so you can visit the Wiley website and uh, get your own copy. Thank you, Costa. Thank you.